Hello, my name's Miss Gina and welcome to my channel. The story of the day is The Biggest Leaf Pile by Steve Metzger and illustrated by Jill Dublin. Now let's get started. The Biggest Leaf Pile by Steve Metzger illustrated by Jill Dublin. It was autumn again, and the trees were covered with colorful leaves. I'm so excited, said Red Oak. The wind will be here soon. And she's going to blow us into the air, said Purple Beach. Then we'll tumble to the ground, said Orange Maple. And we'll all be together, said Yellow Hickory. That will be great. The leaves waited for the wind and waited and waited and waited. Finally, there was a soft sound in the distance. I hear her, said Orange Maple. What? said Yellow Hickory. It's the wind, said Red Oak. She is coming this way. She's, she's here, said Purple Beach. The wind arrived with a big whoosh. The leaves flew off their branches and floated high up into the sky. They did somersaults, twists and spins and loop-de-loops. Then along with hundreds of their fellow leaves, they landed in a great big leaf pile. We're all together, said Red Oak. Just like we planned, said Yellow Hickory. Orange Maple turned to look at Purple Beach. You're such a pretty color, he said. Thank you, said Purple Beach. And I like the way the sun makes you shine so brightly. Red Oak looked at Yellow Hickory. It feels good the way you tickle me, he says. Thanks for keeping me so comfy and warm, Purple Beach said to Orange Maple. The colorful leaves love their new home. Suddenly, a blue jay flew overhead. Hello down there, he called out. What is it? Red Oak asked. I've been flying all over the countryside, the Blue Jay said. And your leaf pile is the biggest one I've seen. Really? Asked the Yellow Hickory. Yes, it's probably the biggest leaf pile in the whole world, the Blue Jay said as he flew off. Wow, exclaimed Orange Maple. That's wonderful, said Red Oak. For a few moments, the leaves looked silently at each other. Finally, the yellow hickory spoke up. If we're the biggest leaf pile in the world, then I should be on top, she said. Why is that? Red Oak asked. Because I am the color of the sun, Yellow Hickory replied, and the sun helps the trees and the flowers grow. No, I should be on top, Red Oak said because I'm the color of delicious apples and juicy strawberries. Mm, 
no, it should be me, interrupted Purple Beach. Because I'm the color of yummy plums and beautiful violets. No, 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 me, 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 shouted Orange Maple. Because I'm the color of Halloween pumpkins and crunchy carrots. All at once, the forest floor began to shake. The leaves stopped arguing and froze with fear. Then they heard a loud rumbling sound. What is it? said Red Oak. I'm not sure, said Purple Beach. But it's coming this way. I think it's an animal, said Yellow Hickory. What kind of animal, said Orange Maple? I don't know, said Yellow Hickory. The animal began to growl as it got closer. It's a, a, a bear, they all shouted. The bear ran straight for the leaves and jumped high into the air. Uh-oh, Yellow Hickory shouted. It's coming down. Right on top of us, Orange Maple yelled. The big brown bear landed bang, smack dab in the middle of the leaf pile. The leaves flew up into the sky. Hey, said Red Oak, this is fun. After diving and floating and spinning, the leaves drifted back to the ground. This time the leaf pile was wider and lower than before. I guess we're not the biggest leaf pile in the world anymore, Orange Maple said. That's okay, said Yellow Hickory. Now we don't have to fight about who should be on top. And we're all still together, said Orange Maple. That's the best thing. The other leaves nodded happily in agreement as the big brown bear lumbered off toward her den. The End I hope you enjoyed the story of the day, The Biggest Leaf Pile. This was a story about friendship. Did you get a chance to play in the leaves this fall with your friends? Thank you to all my new friends, young and old. Please share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more fun and lovely stories and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to look out for next week's story with Miss Skeena's Bookshelves. Tell your friends. Goodbye.